Hi, I am Dr. Suresh H.S., Consultant Neurosurgeon, practicing at Premier Neuro Center, which is located at Isro Levert, Bangalore South. There are many classifications available for head injury, but most commonly used and widely accepted types are two. One is depending upon the severity of head injury. Second one is depending upon the trauma involved and structural damage involved to the brain. Now come to the first one that is the severity of head injury. We can classify head injury into three types according to this classification. Number one is mild head injury. Number two is moderate head injury. Number three is severe head injury. This is depends on the level of sensorium following head injury. And we use Glasgow Coma Scale system to classify this type of head injury. If Glasgow Coma Scale is between 3 to 5, we consider this type of head injury as a severe one. If Glasgow Coma Scale is between 5 to 8, this comes under moderate head injury. If Glasgow Coma Scale is between 8 to 15, this is a mild head injury. Depending upon the structures which are involved, we can classify this head injury into five groups. Number one is cerebral concussion. Number two is skull fracture. Number three is intracranial hematomas. Number four is cerebral contusion. Number five is diffuse axonal injury. Now come to the cerebral concussion. In cerebral concussion, there will be uh, no structural damage, but there is a loss of consciousness, which is only transient. In case of skull fractures, it may be a linear fracture, it may be a commutated fracture, it may be a depressed fracture. A depressed fracture, depending upon the severity, needs to be addressed. Now come to the cerebral hematomas and intracranial hematomas. Here, there are different types. One is epidural hematoma, that is between the skull and the dura. This is also called as extradural hematoma. Number two is the subdural hematoma, that is between the dura and the brain. And the third one is a subarachnoid bleed, that is below the arachnoid. And fourth one is intracerebral bleed, that means within the brain parenchyma, the hematoma will be there. The fourth one is cerebral contusion. Cerebral contusion is nothing but the damage to the brain parenchyma. Here, if there is a mass effect and midline shift, we have to intervene immediately. The fifth one is diffuse axonal injury. Here, we may not see any damage to the brain in the CT scan. But if you go for MRI scan, we can see the injury to the axons. The outcome again depends on the severity of the damage. In case of severe axonal injury, the outcome is very bad. Again, in case of uh, hematomas, intracranial hematoma, if trauma is mild one, hematoma is a small one, we can manage with the uh, conservative line of management. If hematoma is big enough and causing the mass effect, midline shift and deterioration in the level of consciousness, we have to intervene and we have to go for investigation like CT scan uh, and appropriate uh, intervention like surgery, craniotomy is required to evacuate the hematoma.